Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Lost in Random. Yeah, improving my odds. Uh, this might be the last episode. I don't know if I'll try to 100% this game. Mainly because while this is a great uh, story and I love the art, it's still EA. I'm supposed to find someone here. I, I don't know, Dicey. But I know they're here somewhere. Freedom rules. She was almost there. Almost the there. Never. I did what I did for the rebellion. I regret none of it. The glorious rebellion of Four Town against the Queen in the No Dice War, of course. True, I was captured, but you cannot kill an idea. Forberg will be victorious. Villainy can never triumph. My beloved motherland, Tell me, how fares Four Town? Do the valiant and true still call it home? Do the birds sing songs of its glory? What news have you? Tell me, what became of Four Town? No, it's not possible. I, I don't. I can't. Forberg? And what of her people? Ah, you see, the city may be gone, but the spirit is thriving, just as I may be rotting here in jail, but the rebellion lives on. Even though my city may no longer stand, its ideals always will. Huzzah! Huzzah, I say! Freedom rules. Hail, kind soul, and well met. I'm a lost traveler from a distant land. You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never. Hail, kind soul. This and was not what was supposed to happen. From a distant land. This isn't what happens next, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, that's trippy. You are in the presence of the narrator of the Queen herself. Show some respect, child. The Queen desires control. More than that, she desires not to be controlled. She reached a point where she thought I was controlling her. It would seem you're even more foolish than you look. We're narrators, child, not dictators. Ours is only to describe what happens. Stories take us places. All of us. Even narrators. And my place, it would seem, is in prison, where I can narrate only myself. I could narrate volumes to you, child. But, like I said, that is not what happens next. Suffice it to say that when she was younger, the queen, then just a princess, she was happy. We were happy. There was such promise in her, a spark ineffable. Did something go wrong? Honestly, child, you can barely narrate your own questions. Yes, something went wrong. The fact we're having this conversation whilst I am in jail should tell you that. Good grief. I am done answering such asinine questions about this topic.
A narrator, we grow to reflect our subjects. I presume I was a nice narrator once, and she was a beautiful princess, inside and out. And then, well, you can narrate the rest of it yourself. This was not what was supposed Damn. to happen. <laughs> It has the thing as if I can interact with it. As days bled into months, and then into years, no one could say what would happen now, least of all me. All this for a little super juice. Hey, didn't I see you in Two Town? Oh well, very eagerly. One thing I was, was certain, my business, the story then, had taken a very dark came, turn. And I accidentally spilled some super juice on her. That's it. Right? And then she arrested me and brought me to the queen. And then I maybe spilled some juice on her. You still had juice? I, I, I was thirsty. And then I tried to clean it up and kind of maybe spilled some more juice on her black dice and down her dress. That was two lifetime sentences extra right there. Where are you storing it all? Oh, pockets, mostly. Cheeks, too. Built into hidden reservoirs in me top, too. Thought my rung out of my hair. I'm a juicy boy. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that. Anyway, that's my story. Remember me? My only regret is that I ceaselessly spilled so much super juice on authoritarian state makers. Wow. Alright. Holy crap. I mean, if you're gonna get thrown in jail for something, might as well be for something... freaking extra. The Queen, in her wisdom, was right to put me in here. Even's narrator was so close, she just had to keep looking. Some part of Even knew her narrator was close. It was a feeling that went beyond words. Even and her narrator were almost reunited. She was so close. She was so dramatically close. I'm just being a jerk now. Hello, even. Do you remember me? For I remember you. <laughs> nope, I don't waste my uh, memory on the useless shadows. Now, now, even. We both know. That's not true. You're probably wondering why I'm here and not out there picking my teeth with the bones of the disobedient. I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me all those years ago to kill that meddlesome king of freedom and to start their war. Okay, so that makes more sense. Why he did it, but then it's like, ah, I need to fix this. What can I say? Our interests align. The queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Too good. Oh, but she played even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason. But they didn't. My rule was kept secret. And instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. When I finally had enough, when I finally threatened to reveal the truth to everyone, well, here I am. 
pity you, you know. You never amounted to anything, and you never will. No, no, you don't get to pity me. I'm terrifying. You're terrified of me. Say it! Say you're terrified! Pitiful. You don't pity me? In fact, no, I pity you. You hear me? I pity you! I pity you! Nobody pities me! Nobody! Nobody! Defeat the Shadow Man once and for all. That was the achievement I just got. Called Closure. Ah, there you are, my friend. Thank you for the rescue. Now, I can get back to my job of narrating. <clears throat> the narrator said, narratively. Who are you? I mean, weird. Yeah, it's uh, you. There you are. I hate how few oh, scenes there are of that. You can hear me? Yeah, this is new, and yet, it isn't? This is unprecedented. But that doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, little one. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. I felt your absence. <laughs> it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. Yep. But you can hear me now, and we should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. We've got a quest to finish, my friend, and I stand ready to describe it if you stand ready to live it. Let's end this once and for all. I don't need you to Let's. tell me what to do next. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah, yes. A girl, her dice, and her narrator were reunited at last. Behind them, the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. <laughs> Oh, I thank you. It's such a trip. You have to get me out of here. I'm a unicorn. A real live unicorn. Why do I always make unicorns like British or something? You guys do know that unicorns existed in other places of the world, right? Mythologically and physically, depending on your point of view. Um, I don't really... This used to be a beautiful palace. A place of learning. Of magic. Of... Oh, yes, Dicey. It was also a place of dice. There's nothing really more for me to collect, so let's just go for it. I mean, I'm still gonna hit up the halls that once echoed with the laughter of children were now still empty and desolate. Oh, right. Except for even and her amazing friend Dyson, who was. Great, did you say? <laughs> Who was? And I quote, great and awesome to the max. Nah. You dealt a bad hand, have you? Oh, never. Trade it in for a new one with me. Oh, many days. Orberg really, really gave me a bunch of cash to finish that out.
Let's see if I can't finish this battle. Without using any weapon. Just in case. Let's hold on to you. Finally grow a crystal, you did.
card. Card. Ah, damn. <laughs> there we go. Complete a battle without using weapons. The dark crystals had appeared in the same age as the castle's fall. But they were not the cause of this destruction, merely an effect of it. There was something much darker here. Way to creep us out, Mr. Narrator. Three heads. The remains of the castle were quiet, almost serene, but within them still dwelled a great power. Here goes nothing, Dicey. <laughs> Point taken. Here goes everything. Loops are not what they seem. Oh, look at this place. It is stunning, and it's been lived in recently. We're not alone here, Dicey. The gate was locked, but where was the key? Even wasn't sure, and neither was Dicey. But... But... They had the feeling they could find what they sought if they looked below. I wasn't exactly wrong, that Sixburg or Sixtopia. Whoa, she has a fleet of these things. That's concerning. Um. Wait, Nanny Fortuna was coming. 
Quick, hide! Now, now! Hurry up, you scrumptious little children! What does scrumptious mean, miss? It means keep walking and stop asking questions! The one who dies does not like to wait! Where did I put my things? Not again! That key's got to be here somewhere. The key even was looking for. She just knew it had to be here somewhere. Ugh, not your most helpful narration, bruv. Bruv? Wow. Uh, I'm gonna say that was a bit shorter than I was expecting it to be for a little go below, grab the key, and come back thing. Oh! You built a bad hand, have you? Ah, oh, never mind. Trade it in for a new one with me, old Manny Dex. <sighs> Cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was expecting. But now you're here, and Manny Dex is playing a sympathy card. You gotta buy something, mate. Please! D you sent... Oh, Manny doesn't try to understand the world. All I understand is cards. And I understand now that perhaps you're looking to trade. You never know who's listening, mate. Now, let's trade of... So you get a chance to ask the second portion of that. All, right. All that remained was to climb the terrifying upper tower and face our destiny. Yeah, you're not in any danger here. Even, do you know what happens to a narrator if the person they're narrating dies? Uh, no. Me neither. Oh, but I'm sure it's not good. <laughs> Ow. about not having weapons this time. New card. New card. Lower cost. Lower cost. And play everything.
card. Lower cost. Lower cost. Play everything. Same ages as even and odd. Those masks. Uh, yeah. The Queen's Throne. It is from here that the queen rules the fate of random with the roll of her dice. But where was she now? It was in this very throne room that the queen would roll her dice to decide today's fate and personality of the poor inhabitants of Two Town. That's crazy, isn't it? The idea that their fates should be controlled by the Queen rolling a dice somewhere. You grow up with it so you think it's normal, but... But the whole thing is madness. Forburg. A fallen city built on the ruins of its past self. Another insane system. She pulls us all into her crazy solutions until we forget how things used to be. And everyone in random is just... Just lost in her madness. She's cost so many, so much. Can you stop that? Sixtopia, a glittering city of cardboard, made to give the poor people of Random something to aspire to. The biggest and most cynical lie of them all. This can't go on. <laughs> yeah, I hope we can do something about it too. One croft, even in Odd's home. It was home. My family is there and I miss them, but but I honestly don't know where home is anymore. Oh, Dicey. My home is by your side too. Because I, I don't know what he's trying to eat them. It was a land and a family torn apart by an endless futile war. A war the Queen instigated to keep the people divided and her in power. Yeah, the triplets could have done something, but they squandered it and so much else hating each other. Five Tropolis, once a land of creativity and magic. Now, little more than the robot factory. There were good people there. We've all been twisted by her. And we can't even see it. We're fish born in a tiny bowl, and we look around and say, Oh, this is good. This is definitely how it should be. But we should be swimming in the ocean. Okay, yes. Not all fish can live in salt water. But we should at least be swimming in a big old lake. Unfortunately, it's never, ever going to be that simple. I'm not saying what is going on here is right, but this was it. The point of no return. Whatever the end was, even and Dicey were going to meet it. Listen, Dicey, whatever happens next, I just want you to know. Look, I'm I'm not too good with uh feelings and stuff, but I just want to say I've never become best friends with someone faster and we've saved each other's lives countless times and uh, well thank you dicey for everything <laughs> right back at you bud now let's go kick that queen's evil butt together
just random pictures of the stuff that has happened prior. Weird. Hiding, hiding. Is uh, is over here good? Hard. Now then, children. Inside that black dice is your ultimate destiny. <laughs> Well, if it isn't the one from one town, even was it? Poor girl, you've marched all this way alone, only to find your own end waiting for you. Only I'm not alone, Nanny, and it seems to me that the only end I've been marching towards is yours. <laughs> nice! Such impudence demands punishment! Okay, everything stops. New card. That work. Damn it. Asshole. Turn your teeth to Nanny's pals. New card. Lower cost. Lower cost. Grab for free. Grab a new one. Grab for free. New card. New card. Uh, let's hold on to you. Ugh. 
Let me give you some advice. Give your nanny all the dice! Can I shoot these back at her? Oh, okay, there we go. Woo, this is a bit close. Lower cost. New card. Full cost. Grab everything. Little child gone and lost. You've just made your nanny cross. New card. Oh, you don't. Am I missing something? She's gotten to a stage where she's not pulling up the bombs. Asked you nice, but now it's time to give Nanny that dice. No cost, add more points, up, add more time, get rid of you. Three for 
mercy. Brave help. Nandy's gonna make you yes. That was a rather poor one. to be from behind. Cost. Cost. Use. Maybe I can only do it from the... Here. New card. New card. New card. Lower cost. Use. Dong. Uh, I suppose it is one's lot in life when one is a nanny to suffer doing someone else's hard work while they reap all the benefits. <laughs> Eventually. Everyone leaves you behind, don't they? And any love they held for you is temporary, transactional. <laughs> I'm supposed to feel sorry for you. You tortured Seymour. I did my job, child. I followed orders, and none of us would be in this mess now if you'd followed your parents' orders and stayed home! I'm going to stop the Queen. Don't be here when I get back. <laughs> when I come back. Such unearned confidence. You know, everyone is so quick to judge her. But the Queen really likes you, even. <laughs> she stole my sister and tried to kill me. Multiple times. <laughs> well, there's a lot of that going around, child. You're not a popular person here. 
Now then, run along before you're too late. <laughs> When Even leaves town behind, odds are she won't return anytime soon. Where, where are we? <laughs> I'm getting the vibes of the Eternal Cylinder here. I see. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Through that portal? You sure it's safe? Do we have a choice? Of reassuring, but okay. Those poor children. It's it's so much worse than I than I. Is the black goo coming from their heads? Their brains. The black dice is mining those poor children for their nightmares. Their darkest dreads, their most agonizing miseries. Coalescing them into the dark fuel. This turned love crafting horror fast. The robots, the dark twisting of the arenas, all of it. It's all powered by those helpless kids. Nightmares. There are few things more powerful than unbridled fear. This place, it, uh, it feeds on it. It's a sacrifice. Those are the three heads that were fo vaguely foretold. But not out of nowhere. Okay. Is Manny Dex gonna show up? Why am I getting money? Hey, even that's lucky, isn't it? That is her. She's still alive. Oh, then Odd didn't kill her after all. She might not be as far gone as I thought. Oh, Odd. I hope you're okay. Masters of the one true dice, have my sacrifices not been ample? Have you not long feasted on paranoia, bitterness, fear itself? work falter. I beg you for just one more boon. Just a taste of your power. Dominion over chance itself with my successor, 
Just as I once did to you, this child has proven herself worthy to me. She will please you, just as I have. She will keep up my end of the bargain, so that you can keep up yours. My Dark Lords, I beseech you, let my power be shared, and I swear that two souls shall then worship you evermore. how I got here either. But you're here, I'm here, and no matter how the cards are stacked, we still have hope. And the chance to do some business. It's been a trip, hasn't it, Manny? <laughs> it sure has. And you've been great, mate. So listen, mate. Cards on the table now. I want to help. You need something before your big fight? Because the way I figure it, if the Queen wins, then you lose, and I lose my best customer. My only customer, really. I know we try to keep things light between us, but you saved me, mate. Before you, nobody bought cards. I was in danger of losing the store. Someone would take your body, I guess? Who? Personally, I'm very satisfied, never having to find out. <laughs> You're the only one who ever wanted to buy cards, and you saved me. So it seems to me, you're just the one to save everyone else too. I'm in your corner, just like you've been in mine all this time. Now then, let's get to it, shall we, matey? <laughs> That's awesome, having an actual, like quote-unquote relationship with the the store person. I mean, they didn't give me any free cards, but that's Old, not the point. Step forward. There's no more time to prepare. Your fate is arriving now! No! Oh, don't do it! What? You! I fought across your entire twisted realm to stop you and to save my sister. And that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, Odd. We need to get out of here. Nobody's being held here, foolish even. Odd's free to go, if she chooses. So I should go with you now, even. Because why? You finally deigned to come see me? No, Odd, it wasn't like that. You need to... To what? To understand that my little sister, the one who's always had it so easy her entire wanna life, now thinks she knows what's best for me? Odd. Or maybe you're just jealous that I've grown up and of the power I'm about to receive. Is that it? She chose me, even. It is sad to see such pettiness embodied in someone so young. She's standing between you and your power. And remind me, Odd, what do we do to those who stand in our way? No. We destroy them, my queen. Ah, so we do. I don't want to fight you, Odd. <gasps> Even you've always been so young. Far too young to see. None of this is about what you want. I, I always hate these type of events. Because there is a lot that Odd could, or even that could say, that quite frankly would completely derail. Uh, 
everything that is being said by the queen and all this other stuff. But no. never knew when to shut up. Hold on to you.
Ethan. I'm so sorry. How about everything? No, I'm sorry. That that mask, I I became so petty, so afraid, and oh, oh even I hated myself. No, 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 Odd. I love you. I love you no matter what. Even. I'm weaker without her. Like everything good and strong in me is. <sighs> we'll help you, Odd. I've got some help. She hated me poking around it. Then I say it's our best chance. You can't Let's escape. go. This is my territory. Your story ends here, you urchins. This is actually pretty awesome. I offered you a kingdom and you chose the dirt. Come back here, you riches. to replace. She looks so sad, frozen at the moment of her death. You know nothing! Nothing! This is none of your business, and neither is that dust! Alright. I imagine that just like her shadow, I'm not actually going to be able to stop time with her. Finally, seek what happens when you embrace randomness. You die. You're a big girl, aren't you? Oh, she does stop. Weird. when you embrace randomness you die The 
underworld begs to be controlled. You fool. I'll never allow you or any other agents of... You're ruining everything! Everything! And I won't let you! Can you hope to win? What? You're ruining everything! Everything! And I won't let you! Oh, it... it faded out. The world begs to be controlled even. It must be yoked to a purpose. Otherwise all that's left is random. Now do you finally see what happens when you embrace randomness? You die. Occur. Occur. Low cost. And use everything. Hammer time. <laughs> you see, you are nothing with... No! It... it can't be. That's what I kind of figured. It took me a while to get to this uh, point, but... You have to let me freeze time for you again, Nat. You have to. You'll die out here. Uh, Alexandra? You need to listen to me. You, you've changed so much. No, I, I'm still your sister. Can't you see? I'm still protecting you, no matter what it costs. You have to let her go. No! No! I won't let you die! If she dies, then I failed. That all of this was futile. This whole world can burn for all I can, as long as she lives! <laughs> Alexandra, I... I'm not worth it. Shh, don't say that. Of course you are. I love you. I love you. Please. It hurts. It hurts all the time. Even when time stops, it's still... <laughs> Let me go, sis. I, I can't wait for you here, but I promise I'll wait for you there. No, don't. Don't. We'll play again, okay? Just you and me. Natalia! Just you and me.
boy. going to happen even we could land anywhere in random we could end up lost nah and as for what happened next well did you hear something it's a long story <clears throat> that was awesome. Uh, I don't know if that's really the, <clears throat> the end of it. Yeah? That's the, the true blue end. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. That was a wild ending. But... I also feel like that was just kind of how it should have ended. Um, I'm a little sad you can't see more of the world of random, but I feel that's also the point. So, uh, I will catch you all in the next game, whatever that one may be. Until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.